Hey everybody, Mr. MathBlog here. This lesson is angle measures and angle bisectors. And don't forget all your lessons can be found at MrMathBlog.com. Let's take a look at Mr. MathBlog right here. Here's Mr. MathBlog. All across the top are the classes I taught. Here's Integrated Math 1. That's this class. So if you scroll down, it's going to be Module uh, 16 uh, uh, 2. It's going to go right under Module 16 1 right there. All right, you guys. And if you guys can, would you guys click like? That helps encourage me to keep making these videos. If it's helping you guys, if it's not, click dislike. And then here's our essential question. How is measuring an angle similar to and different from measuring a line segment? So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and construct a copy of this angle, angle S right here. So start with a point X right here and use a compass and straight edge to copy an angle right here. So here's a compass. I'm sure you have a compass somewhere if your teacher does. Uh, and if not, you can get one at the Dollar Tree or Dollar Store or Dollar whatever right there. Here's a straight edge. So we're going to use this uh, compass and straight edge right here. And then we're going to construct this angle starting at this point. So first thing is we're going to get this straight edge and draw a ray that has end point S. So let's go ahead and draw this ray right here. So we line up the straight edge and then just draw a, a ray going across right there. Okay, and I put arrows on it on the other one right there. So there's a ray right there. Now what we're going to do is place the point of our compass, this point right here. There's a point and there's a, a pencil -y piece right there. So we're going to um, uh, place this compass, the point right here, right on S. Let me um, close that up just a little bit. So, um, so let's put the pointy right there. Okay, so it's right there. And then let me just rotate it down. Whoops, I want it to be, we can't move it after we make our arc. So I'm just going to rotate it down. And it says, draw an arc so it intersects both sides of the angle. So there's that right there. Okay, and then now we do, um, uh, uh, without adjusting the compass right here, we're going to place the uh, the point of the compass on X. So we're not going to open or close the compass and we're going to place this point right here and we're going to draw another arc that's going to go uh, down through the ray right there. So we're going to draw that arc right there. Okay, so whatever this arc was right there. So there it is right there. Uh, let me move that around right there. Okay, and then it says label that point, point Y. Okay, now this is where we change the compass opening. So we're going to place uh, the point right here on T, and we're going to open or close our compass just so the pencil goes right there on U. Okay, so uh, let me rotate this so it's a little bit upside down right here. Okay, so it looks like it's going to line up with that U when I take it over there. All right, so that's going to go right there. And I gotta close it up just a little bit right here. And let's see, I want to make sure it's gonna go. It's gotta be right exact. If it's not exact, our angle won't look good. Okay, that looks pretty good right there. Okay, and so this is what I tell my kids. I want to see this arc mark right there. Okay. So if I see that arc mark, that is showing your work right there. All right, and then now um, I'm running out of room, so I'm going to slide it right up here. So now without adjusting the compass, we're going to place the pointy part down here on Y and then arc it right up here again. So let me just slide this down right here. And then, and it's real easy for us math teachers to see, are you guys doing the arcs by the compass or are you doing it freehand? It's really easy, you guys. So um, uh, make sure you're using your compass to make these arcs right here. And then we're going to label this point, point Z right here. Let me get this compass out of the way right here. Okay, so there's point Z. And then now we're just going to use a straight edge. So it's kind of hard for me to uh, rotate this straight edge around right here. I can, but it just takes too long and I just don't want to um, uh, waste time in this video to rotate it. So I'm going to make sure that, um, whoops, I'm running out of batteries, that I'm going to make a straight edge going right, right here. So here's my straight edge right here. And I'm going to just connect it right there. Okay, so there's my ray right there. And then that ray is going to be, uh, this angle right here is going to be angle X is a copy of angle S right there. Okay, so uh, if we could place the, the angle that we drew on top of angle S uh, so that uh, this ray XZ coincides with SU right there, what would be true about S, uh, what would be true about XZ, ray XZ? Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. 
So if I could do that and slide that right up there, what would be true about that? Well, well, XZ would coincide, uh, would lie right on top of SU right there. So you can say coincide or lay on top of it. Since the angles are copies of each other, the rays would, the, the angles would be the same opening. They just, the rays would line right up on, on, uh, on top of each other. Is it possible to do a construction with a compass that is stuck open so you couldn't open or close it? Why or why not? No, you couldn't do that because we couldn't do that second opening right there. This arc right here, we had to close it up right there. So it's not possible to do that right there. All right, so naming angles and parts of angles. An angle is a figure that's formed by two rays with the same end point. So, so this end point right here, here's ray QP and ray QR right there. That end point is called the vertex, so vertex Q right there. The rays are called the sides of the angles. So the sides of the angles are rays QP and QR. When an angle is named with three letters, the middle letter is always the vertex. So I can say angle PQR or RQP, okay? Or we can say uh, angle Q. So we can say angle PQR. Make sure you put the angle symbol in there or, or write out the word angle or say that the other way around, angle RQP or angle Q right there. All right, so without seeing a figure, is it possible to give another name for angle MKG? Well, yeah, no problem. We can just uh, reverse the letters, ang angle uh, K or G, K, M. All right, so use the figure to answer each. Okay, so name, uh, name angle two in, in as many different ways as possible. So here's angle two. We can't say angle E, because angle E could be this angle, this angle, this angle, or the whole angle right here. But we can say angle B, E, A, or angle A, E, B. So you can't say angle E on this one. All right, but you can use the three letters. Just make sure E is always in the middle. And don't forget your angle symbols on that, okay? All right, use a compass and straight edge to copy angle B, E, C. Okay, so what we're going to do is um, uh, use a straight edge right here. So that's going to represent this side right here. And then we're going to get a compass opening. And I'm just going to save time. Put pointy right here. And we're going to arc both sides of this angle right here. All right, then we take that and put pointy down here and do the same arc down here. I'm just hurrying before my battery runs out right there. And then put pointy over here. Open or close your compass so pencil -y goes right there and make that arc right there and then transpose that right there and then use your straight edge and then connect them up right there and then you should have it right there. This angle three right here is going to be the same measure as that angle right there. All right, almost done. So classifying angles. Uh, there's 360 degrees written 360 with a little, looks like a little zero power. That is a degree symbol in a circle. Okay, and we're going to talk about uh, angle measures and an acute angle is an angle that's between 0 and 90 so here's an acute angle right here a right angle you guys have probably heard these before a right angle is an angle that's 90 degrees exactly so there's a little box symbol right here to show 90 okay and when you're saying equals if there's ever equal sign with an angle then you have this little M which means measure Okay, so this says the measure of angle B equals 90. Okay, if you ever have an equal sign, you'll see the M right there for the measure of the angle. Angle C is an obtuse angle if it's between 90 and 180. And then finally, we have a straight angle, which makes up a straight line. So a straight angle is 180. A straight line is 180. So use a protractor to draw an angle with the given measure. Okay, so 53 degrees. All right, let's get a, a protractor here. Here's a protractor and we're going to draw a straight angle right here whoops I got a I'm running out of power uh, okay so we're going to uh, line up the 53 degrees oh no I hope I can make it so draw a straight line right there and then we're going to go right here to the 53 degrees and make a mark right there okay all right so there we go so use the straight edge to draw a ray okay and then we're going to place the protractor where the crosshairs are so we're going to take this protractor and put it right there and then we're going to go up here and make a mark at 53 right there let me slide that back down okay i've got to hurry so find a 53 degree mark make point z up there and then just uh, draw xz and then there it is right there okay i made it all right if you're in my class uh there's your assignment take care you guys